a breakthrough sport, paving the way for millions of young people to engage in gainful ventures. Chess has become a viable pathway for youth development, supporting sustainable growth across the world. An estimated 605 million people play chess around the world, building a dynamic activity promoting youth empowerment in ways inspiring scores of young people out of poverty into the professional realm of sports. The sport is gaining strong momentum across Africa with young people leading a fresh wave of mastery, putting chess on a continental pedestal. In the Gambia, the country's chess federation is moving to promote the sport across all sectors with a major focus on youth engagement and education, targeting schools to introduce the sport to build the foundations for critical thinking and planning which chess immensely nurtures. And the main reason for the establishment of the Olympia Africa centers all over Africa is to help get these kids off the street and engage them into meaningful life through sports. With plans to include chess in the national curriculum, the quest to promote the sport is being supported by the Ministry of Basic and Secondary Education and Sport Development Agency Olympia Africa which has signed a Memorandum of Understanding with the Gambia Chess Federation to increase awareness and expand the impact of chess across the country. Right now, um, it is confirmed that you know, kids that play chess at school are better than kids that don't play chess. It's a mind game, and then it develops their mind, gives them patience, um, gives them critical thinking, for a short time, they have to think and then make the right move, you know, so it helps. One of the biggest breakthroughs in chess recently happened in Nigeria, where seasoned chess champion Tunde Onakoya's Chess in Slums project for street kids in Lagos garnered global attention that helped to galvanize scores of kids from the bleak world of homelessness to international stardom. What we are saying is um, um, chess is for the young generation. That is why, after learning so much thing, we decide to introduce chess to the young kids. Because it will do a lot to help them in their education, in their critical thinking, in their, in their, in their, in their analysis. And these are not only education, these are also essential in national development. For a country to, to move forward, you need people who can think critically, who can analyze things, and who can make sure that they get the right decisions at the right time. The Gambia Chess Federation is also working with the Prisons Department to popularize its Chess for Freedom initiative, which targets inmates and repeat offenders, introducing them to the sport as a way to embrace gainful skills and mastery of critical thinking for individual development and growth. And we have also visited the prison. Uh, the, the Vice President and the Enterage visited the prison to introduce um, Chess for Freedom which is uh, how to which help some of the youths uh, that normally uh, becomes offenders to have time you know to reorient themselves through the game of chess in prison the growth of chess in the gambia is a significant opportunity to engage young people and support school children to acquire logical skills to enhance their education more than a sport chess is a pathway to a viable future enabling young people to redefine their lives and forge skills for sustainable development. Reporting for GRTS News, I am Fatu Janimbai.